Hey everyone, thank you for joining me today. Welcome to Miss Nay Nay's Art. And if this is your first time being here, thank you for being here. I appreciate it. So I am working today on this mold. This is a bathtub mold. Um, I first showed this in my Timu haul a few videos ago. I'll leave a link to that in the description below so you can see that. So I'm going to try out this mold that I got from Timu. It's a bathtub and um, it, feels, it feels pretty sturdy. It's got some nice little um, legs to go with it. The only thing I'm going to do is I'm going to use this chameleon powder. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and randomly just brush some colors in between the mold to give it sort of like a, I don't know, like a marble effect. So I'm just going to use some random colors. I'm going to use my little brush here where I have like some dried resin on there. But you can see <laughs> I'm always making a mess with my resin. But um, anyway, I'm just going to go ahead and just pick out some colors. And I'm just going to randomly just brush them all around the, the mold. So if you're not familiar with chameleon powders, they're like a um, a color shift. You know, they they give um, illusion of another color when you, um, depending on the direction you're moving them around in the sunlight or whatever. Um, but I really love using chameleon powders. They're powders. They're so they're metallic-y looking. They're really pretty. I really enjoy using them. And I got this set from Less Resin. And I'll leave the link to that in the description below. You can find that on my Amazon store. I'll leave links to this and other things that I use also in my videos. Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and um, add some black mica powder. I have some black mica powder also that I got from Less Resin. I'll leave a link to that as well with the chameleon powders. I think the black would look really pretty up against the, um, the chameleon colors. Although you won't see the black, it will make it um, dark enough so that it's not transparent and that's what I was going for I wanted to use the darkest color possible to show out the colors of the chameleon powders
So when you're using a mold like this, make sure you pour slowly for one and spread open the sides so that it could come in so that the resin can get in the tight spots around the tub. So all I'm doing is just tapping it so that the resin can flow down into the little tight spots, spreading it open a little bit, making sure everything is pouring in evenly. So at first I wanted to just go ahead and pour it in there. I didn't think that I needed to use a little plastic um, dropper, but that was a little messy right there. So I was just wiping off the edges to excess that poured over. And then I went on ahead and started using the little plastic droplets, droppers. And um, I don't know what you call those things. Um, it worked. It had a lot of air bubbles, so I had to, uh, and it was kind of hard to get through the hole, so I did end up cutting it off camera, the tip a little bit, and just slowly filling up the mold. But I did have to pop some um, bubbles because it was making bubbles, so be careful when you use that. Okay, when I tell you I was annoyed, I mean, I was annoyed. I did not hit the record button when I was demolding this beautiful tub. Now, I will be making another one. It will. It, it was hard getting it out. It was a little difficult, but I did manage to get it out. Um, it's a good thing I looked up at my phone and saw that I hadn't hit record. I guess I was so excited to demold this thing that I just move too fast. I do that sometimes. I'm so sorry, but I will be doing another video and you'll see me demold. So, um, what I was doing here was screwing up again. I was trying to fit the legs inside the bottom. And I thought, man, it doesn't fit. It doesn't fit. I even bought out my little knife, exacto knife and started, um, cutting away some of the edges of the bottom of the, the tub thinking that okay well maybe it's too small I'll just you know open it up a little bit to see if it'll fit and in reality I was just putting them in wrong so when I figured that out um, then the holes were too big so I ended up having to use some um, E uh, 6000 glue 
to glue the legs in. And it was all it was all good. It was fine. It was fine. But it was just a mistake on my part because I wasn't really, I don't know. I just, I just screwed that part up. But I did figure out that it was just because I had the, I was putting them the legs in on the wrong angle. They need the, they needed to curve out and I was just putting them I was just putting them in the wrong way. So, um they do fit. <laughs> they do fit. I was just I was just being an idiot. <laughs> That's my fault. And this is where I realized that I was just angling the the feet the wrong way. That's when I realized, oh, <laughs> that's how it goes in. But by the by, me messing around with the holes at the bottom, I made them too big. So now, here's where I have to proceed. Look at that. Here's now. Now I have to use the E6000 glue to glue them in so they can stay put. Now I know for the next video. <laughs> how to put the legs in. Okay, and with that, we are done. I love the colors. I love how it turned out. The metallic-y, metal -y look that the chameleon powders give this, this tub. The mold is just stunning. I really love this. I don't know what I'm going to do with this, but I'm going to make another one. So make sure you like and subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on the actual demolding this time. Um, let me know what you think, how this turned out in the comments below. And don't forget to check out the links to everything that I used in this video today. So thank you for watching. I appreciate you. I appreciate your time. And be safe out there. Till next time. Bye-bye.